What's up YouTube? Today I have a requested video for you where I'm going to put my custom built video editing PC through its paces and get some benchmark results for you. So let's get into it and have a quick look at the specs. So I have a 6 core processor at 3.3 GHz, 8 gigs of 1600 MHz RAM and a terabyte hard drive. If you want to learn more about the system, click the annotation on your screen to see my overview video. So to benchmark my PC, I am using Geekbench 2 and with the magic of video editing, it has completed it three times and I've picked the medium result. So the results are in, and we get an overall score of 6,992. If you want to get all geeky about it, you can check the rest of the stats there as well. So what does this number mean? Well, let's compare it with the Geekbench browser. We can see the result of 6,992 is closest to the MacBook Pro 13-inch late 2011 model, which boasts an i7 chip at 2.8 GHz. Now, admittedly, a Cisco processor at 3.3 GHz should beat this, but I'm more interested in the value of these systems. As the MacBook Pro is a notebook and contains a PC, screen, keyboard, and trackpad all in one, it's only fair to compare it with the price of my full system too. Overall, my system with all the basic peripherals cost me £500, whereas the MacBook Pro costs just under £1,300. That makes my system under 40% of the cost of the MacBook Pro. Now all you Apple fanboys out there will say, no, you're comparing it with a notebook, it's, it's just not fair. So just for you, I'll compare it with the iMac 2, which just beats my PC with a score of 7,244. But again, my setup is only half the cost for almost the same performance. Now I know these comparisons weren't exactly fair, as they're running different operating systems, etc, etc, but it just proves that if you want a powerful PC, but don't have the need for Mac OS X, and are fine with Windows, then by building it yourself, you can save yourself a lot of money. Most of the time, it will also beat any pre-built Windows PC you buy off the shelves at your local store on performance for price. So finally, just so you compare it with your own system, I have also run the Windows Experience Index, and you can see my results there. To find out more about the system, visit my PC Build Overview by clicking the annotation there as well. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribing would be awesome, and if you liked it too, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.